This is facts of Mars, and right here is proof that these scientists have uh, gone over the edge of sandy, many of them. You're going to love this one. Right here is the headline. Another danger of climate change, giant flighting boulders. Really? Standing atop a 60 foot cliff overhanging, overlooking the Atlantic, James Hansen, the retired NASA scientist sometimes dubbed the father of global warming, examines two small rocks through a magnifying glass. Towering above him is the source of one of the shards, a huge boulder from a pair of locals called the Cowan Bowl. Largest of uh, which is estimated to weigh more than a thousand tons. He says that global warming is going to cause these to fly through the air. <laughs> Two giants have been, long been tourist attractions along this rocky coast, perched not far from the edge of a steep cliff that hang, plunges down into the blue water. They raise an obvious question, how do they get up there? Who cares? Compounding mystery, these are two are among the series of giant boulders ranged in almost a perfect line across a narrow part of this 110 mile long wishbone shaped island. Hansen and Paul Hardy, a wiry hammer slinging geologist from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington, who has joined him here as a guide, have a theory about these rocks. It's so provocative. <laughs> I mean, funny, and frankly terrifying that some critics wonder if the man who helped spawn the whole debate about uh, dangers of climate change have gone too far. You're wondering? My <laughs> <laughs> idea is that Earth. Earth's climate went through a global warming period about 100,000 years ago when the United States didn't exist. It was similar in very many ways to the warming now attributed to the actions of man. And changes during that period were so catastrophic that it spawned violently massively powerful superstorms causing violent ocean waves that simply lifted the boulders up from below and deposited them across this cliff. Not this cliff. If this is true, the effort kicking off in Paris this week to hold the world's nations to strict climate change targets may be even more urgent than people, most people worry about. Hardy, an expert on Bahamas Geology first published in 1997 the idea that cow and bull were hurtled to their perch by the sea. That is bullshit. Since then, Hansen has given the work much attention by framing the exhibit boulders as Exhibit A for his dire view of climate change, which has drawn doubters into the scientific community. But as Hansen examines the rocks on a recent morning, Hardy explains some of the evidence. In particular, Hardy points out tiny grains that constitute boulders. Rocks are more strongly cemented together and less likely to crumble together than other rocks nearby, a sign that the boulders are older than what's beneath them. And this goes on and on. This is absurd. Absurd and <laughs> ridiculous. These people have gone so far over the edge. My God, Hanson is as bad as these uh, flat earth people on YouTube. This has gotten to the beat. This has gotten to that point where these people are as insane as the flat earthers on YouTube. I don't know where that came from.
And then go on about uh, a bunch of technical stuff, but this is just ridiculous. Maybe people put them up there. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Probably people put them up there. I don't know why. It's kind of like uh, Easter Island Mystery and that type of thing. You just got to laugh at these people. They're insane. You need any more proof than this? Liberalism is a mental disorder. Uh, Mr. Hansen should be locked up in a mental hospital, in my opinion, because he obviously has lost his ability to grip, uh, reality. Uh, ocean lifting up huge rocks? No. For one thing, uh, most of the action happens on the surface. If you know anything about the ocean, there wouldn't be enough force no matter what. <clears throat> it's just ridiculous. Uh, why these people up in mental hospitals? I don't know what else to do. But they're going to be taken serious by these uh, scumbags in Paris who want to take over the world and institute a uh, world dictatorship. That's what this is about. Instituting a world communist dictatorship. That's all this is about. Unbelievable. They want to fax Mars with their uh, Twilight Zone update for today.